Hey, hey guys, Rookie Lock here, back once again. I hope everyone's having a great day as always, and uh, today I have something a little bit different for you guys. It's uh, one of these uh, Super C uh, key safes. Um, pretty sure most of you are aware what this is for, but for those that aren't, um, you commonly see these used by real estate uh, agents, uh, water companies, and power companies, just to name a few. And they'll lock up a key inside of here, and uh, this would be locked on a doorknob or on the building. Um, so, like I said, for example, the water company could uh, could come and access uh, the key from here to get into the building. Um, we actually use a variant of this on, on, on the building that I stay in here. Um, they make a tubular, it's a style of tubular lock, and they make... Uh, a combo version and they make this uh, slider version here. Um, not the trickiest thing to pick. I wouldn't uh, use these to lock up a key um, for my personal house or apartment or whatever. But uh, yeah, they're commonly used. So um, should also mention that I don't have a key for this lock. I got it from Tumblr. Um, and both Tumblr and Potty314 did an awesome video on this uh, this lock. So I'll, I'll leave a link to those in the description. But uh, the key would basically look like a, a middle milling type key where there's a groove in the middle of the key. And there's uh, three sliders on the left and three on the right. And uh, it's kind of like, like a wafer lock, but uh, it's not the easiest thing to pick, especially a single pin picking or single uh, sl their sliders basically so but uh, I'm going to try to show here that uh, they can be raked open quite easily at least that's that's the hope and uh, it's not disassemblable per se without a little bit of uh, uh, destruction let's say but I'm hoping that I can uh, uh, at least take the core out of this to show you guys uh, the, those sliders and I want to do it for myself too. I've never, uh, never taken one apart, and I've only actually opened this up a couple times too. So, it's actually one of those locks that's fairly rewarding to uh, get into. But uh, I'm gonna use this Y tensioner. It doesn't have too many uses, but uh, it does come in handy sometimes, especially for stuff like this. It works, works pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, the uh, worm rake from Sparrows. So like I said, three or six uh, sliders, three on each side, and uh, there's like two on the top, one on the bottom, and then vice versa on the other side. So I'm just basically, I guess it's kind of still considered raking, but I'm just putting this uh, this pick in to get those sliders to go towards the middle. That's basically all you have to do is push them towards center and you should get a click on them where they uh, where they need to set. Not a hard time to get under this last one over here. But I keep go. oh there we go. <laughs> that was a little quick but uh, I was gonna say I keep going from top left, top right, um, bottom left, bottom right, and uh, Eventually push those sliders towards center and uh, should open up. So I'm actually going to use this tension wrench. So we have that uh, obviously opened and uh, this whole top comes off like that. And there's a little, put this aside, there's a little uh, um, little tie here for your key. So you put your clip your key on there and like I said the water uh, water company, power company, whatever realtor can come in and grab the key for the house or the uh, the building and uh, and yeah like I said um, most of these are, are would be key to like so they'd have one key and it would open a bunch of these boxes and they get in you know what I mean get their key to to the building the box is locked up on um, should also mention that it locks in the open position, so you have to pick it, uh, pick it closed, which uh, 
think it might be a bit harder than opening it for some reason. I'm hoping that we can figure that out um, once we take this apart. But we can see here that uh, this particular one that has a shackle, the one in my building just has a clip and it clips on the top of a door. And then they uh, probably screw it into the door. Um, but it says lift right here. And we just barely any uh, movement to this. Not very uh, well engineered. But uh, yeah, lift it up and this would be locked around a doorknob or I guess wherever they can lock it up on, onto a building. But uh, as you can see, not too much to picking it, but it's not made to be disassembled. But I don't know why, because uh, I believe this is a square hole in the cam, and they could easily just uh, put a screw in there like a normal cam lock. Let's see if I have one close by. And I do. Well, not too, too far. So, square hole so the, the cam can't rotate on the lock. And uh, they usually just have a screw. So maybe I can uh, grind this uh, plug off and take the cam off and take a look at the core. And then maybe uh, drill it and tap it for, uh, I don't know what thread that would be. Maybe 20, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what pitch that would be. But uh, give me a little bit, and I, well, give me a couple seconds, and I'll be back with uh, hopefully this thing disassembled. All right, guys, be right back. Well, guys, that uh, took nowhere near as long as I thought it would. Um, you can see we got the cam off, the back of the core ground would have been flush with the cam, but uh, started to pull the core out. And uh, you guys are seeing this uh, just as I am. I haven't uh, haven't gotten it past here. I don't know. Hmm. Seems to be stuck. Oh, there we go. So you can see the. Uh, Uh, three sliders popping out there and uh, vice versa on the bottom and like I said uh, these three are on one side um, one pops out on the bottom and vice versa on the other side and maybe we can get a shot of inside the keyway And uh, let me get a light here. Probably going to be a bit too harsh, yeah. Uh, let me see. But we can kind of make out... Uh, can kind of make out those uh, sliders there. And uh, I think this is as far as I'm going to take it. Um, I think if I remember correctly, you could uh, take this front face off and there's two little strips that will actually let you pull these out all the way, but uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to see about uh, drilling a hole in here and uh, making this so uh, the next guy could disassemble it a bit easier. It's a shame they don't do that to begin with, really. But uh, yeah, I guess they're not intended to be rekeyed. Still pretty neat. Um, like I said, one of those locks that uh, feels really good to to get it open. Um, and it's always fun to explore something new like this too. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you can uh, take something away from this. Um, I'm going to sign off with that. And as always, don't give lock pickers a bad name. Don't pick locks that uh, don't belong to you or that you don't have permission to pick. Alright guys, take care. See you in the next one.